Alright guys, so we've finished the work. We've finished uh, this cool mining tower here and this little frozen arctic rail. This was the thing that I wanted to do immediately upon discovering this area. When I came up over there, I think, saw this little frozen valley and I wanted to build this and now I have, so I'm so very happy. We can walk up here. So the idea is, you know, that's the mine shaft over there. And so the idea is that the materials are shipped by cart over to this platform, then they're unloaded, loaded onto that thing, stored in here in the meantime. Workmen can get up and down by ladder. It is a little bit dangerous, you know, you could lose an arm in the platform or, you know, fall off, but you know, it's man's work. Stuff comes up. Originally I put uh, gold, lapis, and uh, redstone here, but I decided those colors were too bright for the rest of the build, so I replaced it with with the crystals and they look so very nice so the that comes up here and uh, this is a little uh, pathway leading down to the frozen valley underneath the fortress and let's go ahead and let's take a little shortcut to get up into the fortress Woo! Ah! oh okay okay I did make it all right um, oh, we're going to need to update these maps. Hmm, let's see. I guess that's all there is on the map. Okay, so it doesn't show very well. That's all right. Anyway, so let's go down. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Here we go. So we finished this. Cool. I really like this. This is another thing I wanted to do while I was in here. A really cool natural looking tunnel, part of the fortress, our armor stand area. A really cool forge build in here and with the loft space it looks really cool and you can imagine all the heat from the flames being able to gather up there and because it's so big and so cold it doesn't set the rafters on fire because it's, it's really very cold in here. It's very drafty. And then over here, kind of a more hearty area, area to cook lots of roast beef and mutton and pork chops and sit here with the lads and have a good time. Not all the fortress is done. If we come over here, here's the watchtower. So the interior watchtower is not finished. We'll have to finish that and there will be a little watchtower gate down there. You can come up here and so, you know, this part, this part made me feel so bad. You can imagine the guys standing here in the cold looking out for strays, you know, those uh, gray skeleton archers, to attack. And they can smell all the food that's being cooked down there. The, the smell's gonna come right up here, and they're gonna smell it when, when they're out here on guard duty. I feel so bad for those guys. We've also got, uh, here's where the uh, the beacon is. Not the, like Minecraft beacon, but you know, the uh, light the fires of Gondor kind of beacon. And so you can go up here and take a look, shoot more arrows, tend to the fire to keep it lit. Really fun. Oh, come on close. There we go. Really fun to walk around the base. So the base needs more work, but in the first video we built the structure and now we have built some accessory structures and really, really finished up the interior and the actual keep part of the fortress. So. This was great. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Please tune in next time for more awesome videos about this kind of stuff right here. See you next time.